Hey okay, guys, what's up? It's me, Percy. So, for this week, we once again are doing another Inside Out character tutorial. So, we have done Joy so far, we have done Disgust so far, and so I asked all of you guys, what do you want to learn next, or what characters you want to learn next out of the emotions? And the biggest comment I got back was, of course, sadness. Oh no, I'm just so sad. I'm gonna touch all the orbs in the whole world. <laughs> yeah, sadness is basically me all the days of my life. I don't know about you guys. Anyways, um, so in regards to, like I said, we are gonna do this big family portrait. Either you can draw all the characters together, or you can draw them separately, or put them all together. Whatever, it's your choice. You're the artist. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact pose I have her in my uh, family portrait that I made a while ago and she's laying on the floor because sadness lays on the floor or she falls down or she gets dragged by joy you know the story if you've seen the movie yet no spoilers but she does get dragged around by joy i will spoil that it's probably in one of the trailers i don't know anyway so let's go ahead and draw sadness in her laying down oh my gosh i'm not gonna do anything everyday pose this is my everyday pose all right okay first to start off with we're gonna go ahead once again, I'm going to turn my pa page to the side because we are drawing her laid down so she is very, uh, you know, horizontal. So, I'm going to draw this overall circle for right now. Boom! There's our circle. After that, let's go ahead and draw her sluggish body. So, I just want to lay this out just a little bit here and there. So, I'm going to go for my circle. I'm going to go ahead and make a little lump right here. And then I'm going to bring that lump down, down to the side, and of course, um, I'm going to go ahead and just draw off this bottom, leading from my circle and going down at the bottom like this, and I'm going to go back up into that lump. So basically, we drew a slug, because it's not what sadness is kind of looking. I don't know. That's, that's offensive. I'm so sorry, sadness. Okay. Okay, so we got this slug of a body going on right now. So, <laughs> alright, so we have, sadness is mushed up face right now. She's got a mushy face. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and figure out where the middle of her face is for right now. So I'm gonna say here's the middle of her, my face. Not my face, her face. But anyway, so I'm gonna go down right on the side and I'm gonna say oh, here are my eye line as well. My eye line. So in all these, this has to be around the eyes, you know. Anyways, so what I'm gonna do is for right now, I wanna draw the side of her face. So, okay, all the emotions have very, fairly simple noses. Uh, anger doesn't have a nose. Fear doesn't have a very interesting short nose like the rest of them. But they do ha all have like this little rounded nub on their nose just to s indicate that they have a nose. So it's like a hill. So it's not that hard of a nose. So I have my little nose right here. Now from this nose, I'm just going to go a little bit up for right now. And I'm going to draw a circle there. So I have one eye here that it's eventually being cut off by her glasses. And it, her cheek is coming up and getting rid of the, ed, ed, bleh, the bottom of her eye. So I'm going to jump over here. And I'm going to draw this eye as well. So this one is way over here. And this one's over to the side right here. So in the end, this side of the eye will be cut off because of the rims of her glasses. So, I'm going to go ahead and at least draw her cheek underneath her eye because overall her, eye, her cheek is surrounding her eye area. So I'm going to go up a little bit and I'm just going to bring out this cheek just down just a little bit like this. Okay, because it's being smushed by the floor but the cheek's out like that. And we got this overall thing going on. All right. So we've got this cheek coming out just a little bit. Now from the cheek, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up from the side like this. And I'm going to go back into my overall shape over here like that. Okay? Because we're on the floor and we got a squishy face. So we got a little bit of a squishy face over here. So I'm going to go ahead and give those lines. So we're cutting off the bottom of this eye right here. So we have a line here and then a line to a cheek. So overall we have two like cheek lines going on right now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this eye a little bit more defined. Now she has very, like the round shape that we made for her eyes overall. It's not going to change much, but I'm going to go ahead and bring that down. So we have like this kind of rainbow effect going on right here. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to jump in. And I'm going to give her her pupil for right now. Okay. Now let's jump over to her other eye, which is still in this very shape, very similar. But what we're going to do is, I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the top of her eye like that. Because this eyebrow is a little bit normal, but this eyebrow is kind of coming down. So like what we did with Disgust last week, the eyebrow is overall giving her a little bit of shape to her eye. So I'm bringing down this top right here. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring this out. So we have our little rainbow shape like this. Round it up and connect like that. Okay, once again, I'm gonna make sure that it's somewhat of the same area and same line, all right? So I've got that going on. Then I'm gonna jump inside and her pupil does take up most of her eye on this side of her eye but just this much over here. So I've got this eye and this eye going on right now. So even this one, even if it's getting scrunched down just a little bit, this one's not as much because it's, I don't know, it's her eyebrow power, I don't know. But okay, so we have a little bit of a crease of an eyebrow right here, but then again, we have the actual eyebrow. So we're gonna just go ahead, and I'm gonna bring down her eyebrow like that. And they are kind of thick, kind of not. So we have one eyebrow here, and then we're gonna go over here. On top of this, I'm going to go ahead and bring down the other eyebrow on top of that eyelid that's scrunching up her eye just a little bit. So it is a little boxy. And come around. Boom. Just like that. Okay. So we have one eyebrow here. I'm going to get rid of that little bloop there. Like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump to her nose. Now, it's a lot like Disgust and Joy, even though they have very strong like shadows surrounding your nose it's not it's interesting so basically it's not a lot of lines surrounding the nose but it's a lot of shading so we're gonna go ahead and I would leave since we're looking at the character head character head on I will leave the top of it blank but I shade in and it's a very strong line underneath the shading of her nose just like that Go ahead, use your finger to smooth that out. I know it's improper, but still, we don't have a lot of resources at the moment, and I don't have a shading stick, so get off my back. Okay, so after that, I go ahead and I put that right, right there. So it's very sim fairly simple, and then we have a little bit of a line on top, just like that. It's mostly shading, not a lot of lines, because they're, they're like I said, they're like little mounds in the middle of their faces, and they're like, oh, hey, I'm a nose. Anyways, so we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and come down and finish off the rest of her face. So as you can see, I went ahead and um, erased those few guidelines. I'm gonna come down right here and give my overall sad face. And it's pretty easy. If you've made a sad face before in your life, you it's pretty easy like that, okay? So what I'm gonna do for right now is I'm gonna go ahead and round off her actual face just a little bit more. Make sure that cheek is still on the ground, just like that. So. We have her her lips, and once again, she's very fairly simple lips, like joy and disgust. It's not that hard. She does have like a little bit of a dimple going on right here, and another little dimple right here, and of course, she just has a little bit of purple shading, just a little bit, and you can go underneath and give that little bit of shading right underneath her lip, just like that. Okay. Now I want to jump back up, back to her actual her her pupils. So I'm gonna go ahead. And like I said, big blue eyes full of tears and sadness, okay? So I'm gonna jump in the middle right here, give her that pupil. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space for my bright eyeness. And then I'm gonna come over here and just chop off the side just like I did once before. Like that, go ahead, color in the pupil. Just like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and color this in. And color this in, and they're very, very dark blue eyes. Very dark blue. All right, after that, something that does overall take up most of Sadness's face is her hair, her crazy haircut. I have drawn Sadness probably about four times now. I recently just did another uh, drawing of Sadness and everything. And one thing I just, I always leave for last is the rims on her face, her actual glasses. I leave it for last, so they're kind of like disgust as eyelashes. Leave it for last because they're gonna take up the most, uh, most part of her face and everything. So she's got this weird part going on and the part kind of happens off to the side over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this big, a big hill and it's gonna kind of come over here. Okay. And then I'm gonna kind of flip it out. So I got this big hill going on and it's kind of coming back over here. I make this little flip come into her face and then I'm just gonna go ahead and box it up around and back over into here. 
bring it down a little bit more. And make sure the flare is going outward. Just trying to place together. Okay, and then it comes down. All right, we'll fix this up in a second. And then after that, we're just giving the overall general like shape. And then this side of her hair is coming down to the ground over here. So here's the overall part, but then we've got a little bit of bang coming over to the side like that. Okay, so like discussed, we have this like negative space going on here like that. All right, let's get rid of some guidelines. Basically what it's going to do is it kind of like it's choppy down here, but then it's flaring out like this. So we've got all these flary bits and pieces coming out over here. And then we're going to go up, down, and it's just going into this different direction and everything. So it's kind of coming out straight like this, and then it starts flaring out in different directions, like that. And then of course, we come over here, and it's got tucked underneath behind her head. Next after that, since we have most of her, her hair, her hair is, like I said, shaping up most of her body and everything, and around her face especially, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to jump inside right here. Now that we have her hair and her face laid out, we can go ahead and at least add her glasses. So I'm gonna go up just a little bit right here from my nose, and I'm gonna make this line for right now. Okay, very Harry potter -ous. So I'm gonna go ahead and start one frame out this way. It's gonna overlap her actual eyebrow. And as I'm curving outward, overlaps her hair and her cheek, just like this. So this rim is overlapping this eyebrow on the right side and going off to the side of her haircut which is touching the ground. So we have this big rim like this, one big circle. Now this one's more of an oval type since it is kind of off to the side, but this one's going to be an even bigger circle. So we have the middle, the middle part of our rim. Then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start this one, and this line's going to go through this eyebrow, go off to the side of her hair, See, that's why I didn't want to draw so many lines with her hair. Can't really see what's going on. Okay. And then this circle is going to go around, up, and around. Just like that. Big, thick lenses. And it's over, it's coming off, it's overlapping this part of her hair right there, and it's overlapping her eyebrow and just taking up a big section of her face, just like that. Okay, now that we have her glasses and her hair and everything, the good thing about her, her hair being kind of laid out for right now is that I have her collar. Now her collar kind of starts underneath her, underneath her head like this, and then it comes up and it tucks behind this part of her hair. So the collar of her sweater is very rounded, just like this, make sure it's flat because it's on the floor. And they come up and then it's kind of like it's got like little itty bitty waves to show the like the rivets of the knitting and everything like that okay and you want to do something similar on the bottom as well so if I were to go in just erase a little bit you can see the rivets that I have made to that sweater just like that and then of course she's got a lot of like knitting, you know, awesome knit, knitted sweaters techniques. Like it's got like lines and everything. Typical, very typical like, mm, like Velma off of Scooby-Doo. That's what she reminds me of a little bit. Anyways, um, my friend actually drew Sadness and Scooby-Doo Velma together. So after we have the color of this, I'm gonna come up like so our slug body was kind of like an overall guideline from her hair I'm gonna come up and then I'm gonna go ahead and round it down like that so we have another another section of her body for right now and then the before we do her leg we need to go ahead and do her arm at least so I'm gonna come inside this part right here I'm gonna come 
from right here and I'm gonna give off my beginning start to my arm and of course her arm is laying flat on the floor okay so I have this part of her arm coming out I'm gonna come in again we're on the floor so it's gotta be nice and flat like that okay and then I'm gonna come like this make a little section so I made basically like a rectangle and then I rounded off the edges like this make it nice and round come up back into here I'm gonna go ahead erase this part and we have an arm sadness arm and go ahead and erase some of these guidelines once again pretty easy like discussed her hands are kind of balled up so we're just gonna draw a ball from right now at the end of this of her sleeve like that now that we have this arm I'm gonna go ahead and erase some of these guidelines for her hand it's fairly simple what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jump right inside make a little finger like this and a little finger like I said leave the ball so we have a finger here an indention of a finger and then we have this little part right here so we've got like a bald fist almost. I'm gonna round, bring this down, match up with my my sleeve once again, like that. And then I'm gonna jump. These aren't exactly, don't have as many rivets like the collar does, but it is broken up into sections because it's a knitted sweater and then she's got her, her sleeves rolled up or something. So then I'm gonna come on top of this big, um, this, I'm gonna come on top of this hill right here. Bring, I'm gonna start fairly, slim at the top and then I'm going to come down and conjoin these together like that. Ta-da! Yes. Alright. After that, our legs are pretty on point for right now to where we need to start. I'm just going to bring it up just a little bit since we have our slug body here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down. Not much is changing. I'm gonna bring this okay so I'm gonna come down round it off like this round off the end I'm gonna bring the leg a little bit more above her hand like this so I'm gonna overall overall I'm gonna leave it like that okay so we have this little like this little nub and then after that here's the bottom of my pant leg so I'm gonna come down right here And I'm gonna okay so I came up make a little hill here go inward down and match up with the bottom of the pant leg like that and I I kind of jumped ahead and I want to and I accidentally made her shoe but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead fill this in the heel of her foot and we're gonna fill in the toe of that foot as well and it's rounded off just like that okay now for her pant leg, it is dark blue, so I'm going to go ahead and color the sin so we know that it's a dark blue. For her sweater, it is a lot like her color, so I can go ahead, jump on top, and give a couple more waves going on. Just give it a little feel of a knitted sweater, just like that, and draw lines in it. Now, like I said before, I really wouldn't typically like put on her glasses until the last part just because it's the glasses and it's overall going everywhere. Especially since I have like a ton of hair action going on. Just make sure that, keep in mind that her hair, okay so we're starting from the part, here's the negative space underneath her bang bangs. So all the hair direction from this part is going this way. We've got a couple flyaways here but then it, overall her actual hairstyle starts flipping out going this way so and then it stops right here like I said guys it's a very Velma Scooby-Doo approach to her hair so and then of course we have this flip action going on right here and then we're gonna go ahead and it just overall stays this way so I would bring this in just a little bit just like that and then for down here no, oh, where are you going okay so for then down here I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to finalize the outside of her face with a darker line because this is all hair here because she has very dark blue hair. Just to kind of accent her a little more since she's on the floor if you're into shading or you're making the family picture, I would go ahead and at least shade the areas of where she's overlapping the entire floor 
just like that. Oh no. There is sadness. Um, she's a fairly, fairly uh, interesting, easy character to do, especially when she's laying on the ground like this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial, and I know we're getting so closer to finishing the whole family portrait of the emotions from inside out, so make sure you tune in the next week, because we only have two characters left for the actual family portrait of emotions. I know I mentioned I probably would do Bing Bong, uh, a tutorial on him. Um, but yeah, who do you guys want to do next? Anger or fear? Come on, let me know. Um, I feel like fear would be really interesting, so maybe we'll do fear, maybe we'll do anger. It's up to you guys, but may make sure you leave in the comments below which one you want to do next. Thank you guys for watching this video. It means a lot that you actually type in how to draw sadness from inside out and you find this tutorial and follow along with it. It's been fairly simple. I hope it's simple to, for you guys and I really hope it was helpful. I hope you guys have a, a wonderful week and I will see you later. I've got something pretty special happening tomorrow for the Disneyland 60th because tomorrow is the actual 60th anniversary. In case you didn't know, tomorrow is the actual 60th. So I've got something very special planned for tomorrow. So make sure you check in tomorrow because I love you guys and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye!